Hey folks, this video is meant to show the planetary, lunar, and solar positions for the next two months. As many of you know, we like to combine our research confirming a weak solar correlation to earthquake activity with a much more reliable method of watching the ancient gods dance above us. Now quickly, for those who haven't heard this before, it's not about gravity, except maybe for the moon. It's about mutual induction, magnetism, and most importantly, the statistical significance of the observations, which is evident beyond even my full comprehension. As I've said before, I don't like looking too far ahead with this stuff, but we have some interesting things happening between now and the end of June, and we can identify five distinct times where a preliminary quake watch should be in effect. This will become fully effective if significant space weather appears ready to be geo-effective around the same time, so that's planetary positions plus geo-effective space weather. The underlying dates here represent the potential peak of those watches. A bit of vocabulary lesson as you look at this right here, everything is geocentric. Uh, conjoining bodies are close together in the sky, opposing bodies are on opposite sides of Earth. Let's take a look at what this is going to look like with the help of Stellarium. This is a free application from the internet. Now I've turned the planet markers on so they stay labeled for you to see. To make this a bit easier, I will turn off the atmosphere and allow us to simply see the heavens. It is April 15th today, we'll start there. So you already know Saturn is directly opposite the Sun right now. In a few days, the Moon will conjoin Mercury, then Uranus in the span of about 12 hours. We have a new Moon, April 21st, with the Moon conjoining Jupiter just a day later on the 22nd. Venus two days after that. The second watch kicks off May, and this month is really a doozy. May 1, the Moon conjoins Mars. It conjoins Saturn three days later. This watch peaks on May 6th when the supermoon will be closest to the Earth it will be all year, just two minutes before the full moon. And while that is going on, Mercury happens to be directly opposing Saturn. This watch concludes a few days later with Jupiter conjoining the Sun. The next watch is just one week later on May 20th when in the span of about 24 hours the moon will conjoin Mercury, then Jupiter, then the Sun in a solar eclipse, a perfect alignment that will be visible for most of you. Two days later, Mercury and Jupiter conjoin, the Moon conjoins Venus one day after that. We get a little break, we do have Mercury conjoining the Sun, but then June charges in. On June 1st, Venus and Mercury are conjoined in the sky while the Moon conjoins Saturn. Just two days after that, the Moon makes a monthly close approach to the Earth one day before the full Moon and lunar eclipse, another perfect alignment. A third perfect alignment comes just one day later on June 5th when Venus transits the Sun directly in front of it. Finally folks, June 17th sees the Moon conjoin Jupiter and Venus in a short amount of time and then swinging in to conjoin the Sun two days later. Remember folks, this is all preliminary quake watch times. There is not an official quake watch unless we see geo-effective space weather on the way for the same time. See you in the morning folks. Be safe.